Hi, everyone, and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me here today. My name is Heather Lloyd Martin. I am the CEO of SuccessWorks, and today we are going to talk about how to write an FAQ page. If you have been following along the video series, you know that we've talked about how to write different types of pages, about us page, home page, product page. And today we want to focus on the FAQ page. And you might think, Heather, why the FAQ page? It's kind of a weird choice. And that's because the poor FAQ page is often ignored, but typically can provide some really spectacular opportunities. A lot of times companies use it as the place where you post the admin stuff. You know, here's our shipping and receiving information. Here's what to do if you have questions. But really what you can do is leverage these pages for both the search engines as well as conversions. And here's how to do it. From the search engine perspective, the opportunity here is, is that you can group your FAQs around a particular key phrase theme. So let's say you're an e-commerce company and you sell whitewater kayaking gear or different types of kayaking gear. You can have a specific FAQ page about whitewater kayaking gear knowing that these are the questions that your prospects are asking so it provides you a place to answer those questions and have all that information online. But also from the conversion perspective, rather than thinking of these pages as the admin pages, you can also weave in some little call to actions in there as well. So for example, if you are talking about the whitewater kayaking gear and you might mention that you have creek boats, which is a particular type of kayak, then you can link within that FAQ page, learn more about our creek boats and go to the product page. So suddenly someone has gone from an information page to a specific product page that's moving them along further in that conversion funnel. That's pretty cool. So here are some things to think about when you're writing those FAQ pages. What's good and what's not so hot. So yes, do this. Group your FAQs around keyword themes whenever possible. And if you have multiple services or multiple products, this might be easier than you think. Definitely check your key phrase research and see what you can do. What you want to avoid are those long, untargeted FAQ pages where you are talking about everything, your products, your shipping, your return policy on one page. You know, certainly split those out and theme them. Boring admin sounding FAQ pages, you don't need to do them. You can make your FAQ pages this, the same type of writing as what you have on the rest of your, or your website. And you can match your site's tone and feel. So don't think of those as the boring pages that you'll write when you have time and you'll do it really quickly. Think of these as actual sales pages. You want to link to those product pages or link into the rest of your website whenever possible in an FAQ page. What I see most of the time are what I call dead ends. So it's a page that doesn't have any links within the copy other than navigation and you're not really converging a conversion or a click through. So encourage that conversion. Get people linking around the site. You'll want to include your contact information. Don't make people hunt for it. That's always a pain. Just have it right there front and center. Uh, also, when it's ever it's appropriate with an FAQ page, and certainly there are always some times you can do this, even if it's a little bit more of an admin page, is to highlight those overarching company benefits. You, you don't have to make it all around the features all the time. Certainly, you don't want to make it sound like a sales page, but whenever there's an opportunity to bring that up, that's always a good thing to do. And finally, as you've known with all the other webinars I've, I've talked about, the titles, well-written titles are important. And like the dead-end FAQ pages that don't encourage conversions, oftentimes the titles for FAQ pages are dead ends in the, of themselves because they don't have key phrases. It's just a throwaway title like FAQ kayaking gear. So focus on your titles for your FAQ pages just as you would for your sales pages. So, do you want to know the things that you should be checking out on your website, your website copy right now? Well, we'll be talking about that next week. So, in the meantime, thank you very much for listening here today. Uh, if you want more information about SEO copywriting, please visit my site. You can also sign up for my newsletter that comes out every Tuesday. And here's how to contact me. Thank you very much for joining me here today, and have a fantastic day. Take care.